Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if network discovery is turned off and it's not turning on on your Windows 10 device. So this can hopefully be a pretty straightforward fix. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I'd actually recommend would be to go ahead and restart your computer entirely and just see if that resolves a problem, which it very certainly may. If you are still having a problem, another thing you can go ahead and try here would be to open up the SAR menu, type in services, best results should come back with services listed right above app. So go ahead and left click on that. Locate the function discovery resource publication service. And go ahead and double click on it. Set startup type to automatic. And then select the start button. Select apply and OK. Now you want to locate the DNS client service. It's right up here. Go ahead and double click on that. Again, if it's stopped or it's not set to automatic, you want to make it running. So select the start button. And if it's not automatic, you want to set it to automatic. And then apply and OK. And then you also want to go down to the SS. DP section, so again SSDP discovery. Go ahead and double click on that. Startup type, set that to automatic, and then again, you want to make sure it's running, and then select apply and OK. Now, I would suggest restarting your computer. Hopefully, I would have been able to resolve the problem there. Another thing you can go ahead and try would be to close out of here and type into the start menu Windows Defender Firewall should say Windows Defender Firewall right above Control Panel. Go ahead and left click on that. On the left side, select versus allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. So go ahead and left click on that. Select the Change Settings button. And now you want to locate Network Discovery from this list. Make sure that is checkmarked here. And Private, you want to make sure it's checkmarked as well. You may want to do public as well if you're using a public network. If you're just using a private network, you can keep that check marked. If you're on a public network, you may have to check mark that one as well. Just you have to kind of know that. I mean, if you're on a home network and you have it set to private, it's going to be just private is fine. Otherwise, if you're connected to public devices as well, or your computer is configured to allow public access or access to public Wi-Fi hotspots, you may want to check mark that one as well. That could very likely be part of the problem here, so you want to check mark that. I'm not going to in my case because I'm sure it's a private network, but in your case, if you're going to coffee shops or workplaces or schools or anything else that you are going to other Wi-Fi locations, I would I would venture to say you probably want to check mark that. And then you want to go select OK to save the change. If you had to change anything, of course. And while we are in the control panel here, we can go ahead and select the control panel button up here. So go ahead and just left click on that. Just to take us back a couple of steps and should say view by over here on the right select category view and select category view and then select network internet select where it says network and sharing center go ahead and left click on that and then select change advanced sharing settings on the left side and then you want to turn on network discovery for your network. So you see private, it is already turned on. So turn on network discovery as well as automatic setup of network connected devices. If you're having a file or printer issue, you may want to turn that one on as well here. So turn on file and printer sharing. And like I said, you can see there's also a guest or public section as well. So you may want to turn that one on again. Depends on your situation. You may very well might want to turn that on. I'm just putting that out there. I know I don't need to in my case, but like I said, with my examples, if you're going out and about with your laptop device, you're probably going to want to turn these on, at least the network discovery option. So anyway, if you have to make any changes, go ahead and make them, and then select Save Changes. Restart your computer for that change to take effect, and that should really be about it, guys. Not really anything else for me to discuss. Other than actually resetting your network settings, which you can do. So if you're still having a problem after everything and you've exhausted all the other options that I have gone through, you can try just completely resetting your network adapter. 
So keep in mind you will need to have your Wi-Fi password nearby because when we restart our computer, your computer will prompt you for the credentials for your Wi-Fi password. So go ahead and make sure you have that before you actually do any of this. So assuming you've tried everything else, we're going to go ahead and now open up the start menu. Again, you probably would have restarted your computer a few times by now. So if you haven't restarted your computer by now, restart it. I mean, don't just keep doing everything in this without restarting it. Every time I tell you to restart, make sure you're restarting it because then you're just kind of being redundant and we don't want to waste time here. So just make sure you do that. And anyway, we're going to type in network reset. Best result should say network reset system settings. Go ahead and left click on that. And then select the reset now button. It's going to ask, are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Go ahead and select yes. Now you will have five minutes to close out of any programs or applications you have open here. So make sure you save and close out of anything that's open. And then you want to go restart your computer. Okay, there you go guys. You can see the prompting us for our network here. So pretty much this tutorial is over and as always thank you for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.